Misplaced pass uh, picked up by Clement Mundia. Shafiq cooking one up front. Zio Tembo desperately taken out for a corner uh, by Field Candela. Wide now to Shafiq Batambuze. Akaklube doing more of the running alone up front. Right. But an opportunity for a clear shot. Batambuze and a good save by Mangani Banda. And in the process, he bumbles and bundles himself up against the upright. The team medics really have to be called in. That was a top draw serve. Looks like he hit himself in regions where it's not comfortable for a man. Shafiq goes straight. And Mangani Banda takes his shoulder straight to the crossbar. Or the upright, actually. Another pressure for Mangani Banda. Remember, it was... Uh, is out of Batambuza that uh, he actually got himself injured. Well, they have to deal with uh, Shafiq Batambuza's uh, set pieces. The Ugandan really knows how to just kill them past the wall. And Shafiq hits it. I think there was a bit of contact, but unfortunately, I thought it was there was contact, but the ball was just higher than the wall. It just didn't dip at the right time. He's got a decent technique, and he knows fully well that he would have done way better. Don't kick out from a uh, couple warriors now. Batambuze. Cha cha cha. Back he'll pass. Good play by Warriors. Akakulubela! Top set! And it's a goal! Aka Akakulubela Machiava puts a couple warriors in the lead. The effort really, this man has been stung by the pressure. And uh, the pressure has finally translated into this goal. Well, he's claiming it's about time, I reckon. And Akakuluera Machiava puts it. Kaba Warriors in the lead here. Perfect build-up. Mangani Banda could do very little. And it is first goal in the APSA Cup for Akakuluera. When life, there's no substitutes for experience. Hence, it only makes sense that the hand fits the glove. Akakuluera Machiava. Look at the back heel. The ball put into the center. The contact. He's almost looking for the far post. Again, Mangani Banda's positioning doesn't help, but also he's not that. The pressure really, because you cannot be so dominant and fail to convert that. Now, another long ball. The central defense of Zio Tembo and uh, Kevin Ous, not fast paced, a record. Alteza keeps it alive. Strong clearance from Shafiq Batambuze. They've had a very good run in, when it comes to this uh, competition Zanako Football Club but now they are facing the prospect if they don't conjure up something here of uh, being booted out of the competition though too early so to speak of course in 2008 Zanako were beaten at the quarterfinals and now Moses P takes a shot Go kick. shoulder is Dominic Chanda must have heard from that uh, challenge that came through from uh, Basile Mundia with an extension. Mm -hmm. Surprised the referee didn't blow a whistle. Shafiq Batambuze. Second ball for the diminutive Prince Mumba. Now, run made by Prince Mumba, being policed by Jack John Mwewa. Forced to play back to Shafiq Batambuze. My reckon. Clear out from Zio Tembo, looking for Sian Combo. He hasn't really brought his A game so far, the Zanako youngster. Tembo. Speaking of which, uh, Wednesday, Zambian clubs have been action in Kana. We'll be at home at the Levy Monosa Stadium, 18 hours kickoff, when they play against Raja Casablanca. But here, Warriors can extend the lead. The long legs of uh, Sulmani clears the danger. So we at home also. Wednesday kick off at 15 hours uh, when they play against uh, JSK, held by Simon Walia as the all time goal scorer of the APSA Cup. As for Moses, for instance, this is only second Visu in Portugal back in the Zambian League. And the, the APSA Cup starting from the quarter final stage. Really, a lot of uh, changes in terms of the organization overall of this tournament. So, two goals last scored in the APSA Cup in 2013, more in the game building up from what they ended with in the open closing stages of the match. Power committed by Shafiq Batambuze. 
also played for Singinda United in the Tanzania League. Okay, out from Kapumbu. Touch on is good from Baba Basile. We just stick there on top. Wait for the aerial balls, and when he's got a chance, he'll connect. Out come Cabo Warriors now. First touch by Matthews Musa Nkowani. Mundia. Shafik. Kowani. Matthews. It was a bit slow there, but does well to hold on to play. Akaklube Ramachi Ava. Shafik. Batambuze. Whips in one. Looking for Natasha. Headed out by the strong Kevin Ousu. Well, he's got options up top, but for me, if you don't play to the strength of Baba Basil, then you're playing one man shot. It's important that Lassa Kiala plays this slightly further up top because Zanako can easily disintegrate into a dis de defensive side. Throw taken, as usual, by Sidney Lunda. Headed by Zanako. Now Natasha blocked by Sulumani. Second one. And uh, there was a tip. That should be a corner, in my opinion. To make sure it goes off the line. And look, it's, it's a bit of a volley, but again, Natasha quite slow. That heavy touch in the first time. Field hits it. The ball is deeping. There is a touch. Mumba Prince. Dropped in the midfield. Shafik gives away position cheaply. Ah, position turned over to Baba Basile. Couldn't control it. Yankobo can have the energy as well to keep it in play. Cross comes through. And uh, nothing to worry. Scott Ngokeni. Uncharacteristics of the young man. I mean, he makes decent runs and puts the right ball into the box, but in that instance, you rushed it. You need to look for a player, put it on his head, try to make something out of it. The longer this game goes, the more difficult it's going to be for both teams. Across a team that is ruthless, they tend to capitulate. Back pass from Shafik. Cleared out by Scott Ng Ngokeni. Attack is on now with uh, Musa. Brought inside, headed by Kevin Ousu. So it'll be interesting in the semi finals. If Zanako make it, then they'll come up against uh, Wetson Yerenda. But for Warriors as well, they'll be relishing the prospect of making it in the semi finals and come up against Lusaka Dynamos. Ousu. Shafik Batambuze. Going to the byline now. He can whip in across uh, the former Tasca player. That's a bad job of it at the end of the day. Oh, talking about uh, top poking goals yesterday. He's watching one on the World of Champions. Let me guess. PSL. PSL, the DSTV Premiership. The next 18 minutes plus additional time, I guess, will be very. Batambuze now with the corner. And missed by everyone. Confusion in the box. And cleared out by Zanako. That was very close yet too far in terms of being a, a goal for the Warriors side. Shafiq. Pumping one cleared out by Oshu. He's been uh, clearing most of those attempts that have been coming through. Poorly done by Prince Mumba. Both Seven goalkeepers. It's brought inside and grazes the roof of the net. Oh, he can pack such a powerful shot, uh, the Ugandan uh, left back. Marco. Mwewa keeps it alive. Second uh, clearance from uh, Shafik Batambuze. Kapumbu lining up with his uh, free kick for the run from uh, Zio Tembo and uh, a foul that gives uh, the Warriors defense some time to reorganize themselves after that uh, push on uh, the couple Warriors uh, defender. Yeah Shafiq is putting a, sh a shift and a half and I think his delivery has been impeccable. Decent corners, decent free kicks. The heavens have opened up. Maybe it's a sign that Adrian Ganga, Ali Bemuland. Shafik Batambuze now. We've seen one again in the box. 
headed out by Kevin Ousu. He's been winning all of those uh, high balls that have been thrown in the defender. He's standing at 1.80 St. Peter's. Nibanda. Good delivery as well from the goalkeeper. Looking for Roger Kola. For me, Kola is seriously out of this match. If there's a change that should be made, is the withdrawal of uh, Kola. Ball for Moses P. Is this the winner we have here? Opportunity and it's missed. Oh, Baba had already gone in. He went in and not with the ball. Warriors are lucky. He overcommitted. Oh, and he did all the best to make it look impossible. Baba Basil goes into the goal. Come on, you don't overcommit. You wait for the ball into the right channel. He would have peeled off the defender. I mean, I don't understand why he had to hold on to Shafiq. He should have left him be. It's a chance here for Cup Warriors with uh, Shafiq Batambuze. Two man human war put up by the Budkon side. Hooked into the box, straight to goalkeeper, and uh, corner it is. Well, you do know that he's able to whip in those uh, crosses, Shafiq Batambuze. He disguised it like he was going to look for one of his teammates, but Batambuze just looking to curl it into the top right corner of Malekani. It was actually on target, and Malekani just aware to that particular danger. Looked like it was curving away from going just at the last minute, built on in the central defensive formation. Shafiq with the throw. Quick start now by Warriors, looking for Ali Siddiqui. Dance very well. Zimbabwe. Down there, and uh, Cup Warriors can uh, come out uh, with uh, Prince Mumba. Watching his side lose 2 1 against Lumana Radiance, who recently signed uh, Buton Kuvamson as their coach. Uh, Shafiq Batambuze. Player was also played for Singinda Football Club in the Tanzania League. Uh, quite a traveler, Sofa Park as well in Kenya. Is Shafiq. Big boot forward looking for Dude, but it's Warriors again. Uh, was first to arrive, picked up by Clement Mundia for the Cup Warriors. On the left, Shafiq. Good play by the Warriors left back. Controlled by Akluwe Machiaba. Sadiki. Shafiq, Dominic Chanda. In and around to get uh, Patrick Ngoma to do the chess. Good recovery after it looked like he had lost position. Uh, Prince Mumba, back you pass from uh, Batambuze. The last home match uh, for the these two sides. Uh, as we talk about uh, the attack by Cup Warriors, we will share with you the start that we have. The chance here to take a shot. Begging for quality. Picked up now by Bitcoin Football Club. Long ball looking for Dude. Patrick Ngoma. Foul on uh, Shafiq Batambuze. Means advantage for the Cabo Warriors side. Really been uh, very slow in terms of their build up, this Cabo Warriors side. Shafiki. Looking for Akakulubela. Good defensive work at the back again from Roderick Kembo. Poor pass from the Ghanaian. Peer out uh, from Shafiq Batambuze. Touch on is good by Twiza Chai, but I think the, like you rightly put it, Marco, now they will begin to see more of the ball. The likes of uh, Chai Vela. Getting to 10 minutes played in the second half. Look at the way he places the ball also. Corner taken. Goalkeeper commands. It come out, but not a very convincing clear, so maybe it's issues of communication. Before and it's third for the season. Now, in the meantime, there's danger here that uh, Butte can have to deal with. Kakuluvera with his the goal on the back. Now, Natasha. This is what I'm talking about from Batambuze. Akakuluvelo is trying to control first time with his thigh and connect. Caught a very good touch on by Lamisa Mosa looking for Chiabula. Manages to keep it in play, very difficult position. 
Nicely picked up by Shafik Batambuze. Sydney P. Both sides this afternoon uh, having uh, foreigners in the left back position. Uh, can I play for Kawa Warriors? So on March 31 in 2019, the last time these two sides met in Lusaka, it was uh, Lusaka Dynamo's new and Kawa Warriors new. Remember the reverse fixture between Lusaka Dynamo's and Kawa Warriors in the 2019-2020 season qualifiers and they'll come in very fast. Two games in June, one in August, another in October. Before you you know it, it's uh, the World Cup tournament in Qatar. Can't wait. Uh, seeing some of the stuff that uh, they're doing in terms of uh, the works in uh, Cutter. Dangerous play in a way. Should go for a corner, but uh, good recovery from uh, Shafiq Batambuze. But also was not very confident overall in my analysis when he was in goal, when it came to the penalties spot situation. Defended by Shafiq Batambuze. Responsibility to naturally left footed players. Batambuze. We've seen one at the near box. Near post defended by Marvin Jerry can okay, quickly bring it back because Warriors too have a lot of players that had committed from the attack brought inside Chris Mumba and uh, I think that was a pass it was more of a shot but uh, not properly executed in the end almost resulting in uh, Akakuru to do the chess Nesta is sitting on two goals for Cabo Warriors Nesta Ahab Najis Latasha Lukupa Kabamba Again, just gives away possession. Looks like uh, has been his undoing so far. Shafiq with the throw. Kabamba. What Sadiq would do with this attack now? Cross comes through. And, uh, this should have. Well, what was good reaction from Mongandala? Who did well just to close in that attack that had come through with uh, the diminutive Prince Mumba that was hoping to connect there. Yeah, it was good enterprising play by the newly introduced Ali Sadiki. Shafiq Batambuzi, good cross at the far post. Mongandala comes out, makes that save. And then it's uh, Mayeng Magenge who comes on the end of that and makes that save. But good, brave slave from Mongandala. He actually just puts his body on the line there. Challenge and charge on uh, Prince Mumba. Batambuze now for Warriors. We've seen one and uh, good defensive work. Now, Natasha. The changes really have, re have brought in a lot of uh, pace. Taka like Dynamo's leading one new. The result that they managed to obtain last time out uh, in 2005. So since 2005. Uh, Saka Dynamos have never beaten Cabo Warriors with such a score if it ends this way. Still a long way to go though. The game was obviously on, uh, around 18 July 4. Joseph Tinkoma scored the only goal in the 80th minute then. Sadiki wide now. It's up against Chavo. Like any tackle. Cross comes to a part and a missed chance by Prince Mumba. Really, you don't miss chances like that. Very disappointing from the Zambia under 20 captain. It came to his right foot, favorite foot, and the birthday boy surely should have made it count. He was celebrating his birthday just a few days ago. And it's a substitute, Ali Sadiki, who picks out that pass to Batambuzi, puts in a good run, and the cross is inch perfect for Prince Mumba. But the Kawa Warriors forward just fails to connect with it to get it on target. What a miss from Prince Mumba there. Mongandala would have been beaten from that distance. His teammate Lukupa just trying to offer some consolace, but a big miss there from Prince Mumba. Right to Collins Sikombe. Throw for the Lusaka Dynamos. FIFA Zambia Lipari Hamalida. Corner taken. Defended by Shafiq Batambuze. Cleared out by Batambuze. And now Prince Mumba up against Mini Cooper. Lusaka Dynamos really. In the last 10 minutes, they haven't really threatened that much. And the quality of delivery will be key here from Batambuzi. Uh, it's brought in, and uh, that was a handball. He used his hand, wanted to replicate the Diego Maradona issue. Akakulubela Machiaba. Without a doubt, that's a yellow card. Good call by Matthews Hamalida. Well, this is what it means when the frustration is coming through from Akakulubela Machiaba. 
into the referee's book, the 27-year-old. Was a delivery from Batambuzi, flick on header. That was won initially from Sadiki. Akakulu Ramachiya. The ball was just a little ahead of him and <laughs> resorting to using his hand. Kandel. Makisha uh, may be involved in so far. Batambuze. And uh, the debate about ball to hand, handball will come again. And especially with the recently amended uh, laws to the by the interna the I IFAB. Peterson. What's your call? Was that a penalty? Oof. <laughs> uh, doesn't. Uh, let's leave it. Uh, let's leave Set it piece for now. now. <laughs> Taken and at the far post, defended. Well, that was an uprising, uh, an on rising second ball. Nicely stopped up by Clement Mundia. But Tambuze. Supplemented effort now in the attack coming through from a uh, couple of warriors now. This looks good uh, from Tinkla Sinkala. Zwo. But Tambuze. We've seen one straight to Mongandala. Spilled it the first time, collected it on the second time. Uh, the GRC goalkeeper. It's Shafiq Batambuzi. Powerful ball, makes it over the wall, dips. But the Saka Dynamo's goalkeeper has his eyes on it. And as much as it slipped and bounced, but still managing to be first to the second ball. Marco? Yeah, it's a very, very interesting substitution that uh, Derek wants uh, traditionally does play in the back line and for Prince there's one player that really wants to save his blushes have he missed that chance is Prince Mumba he's running out of ideas on how to conjure up something and just cancel out uh, the formation a setup that uh, this uh, Lusaka Dada was has done and also with the introduction of Derek Mwansa at the back but uh, yes Nzambe playing for Cowboy his first time but in terms of his CV he's been in and around a lot of countries on the African continent now Shafiq Batambuze now with his set piece, brought it to Sadiki, and it goes wide. Intention was very good, but poor delivery from the Zimbabwean Ali Sadiki. Looked like it was straight from the training textbook or manual of uh, the Cabo Warriors coach Chabi Chabala, but very disappointed from the 33-year-old Ali Sadiki. The boys rolled down from Batambuzi into the path of Ali Sadiki. He fails to get the best of contacts on that ball. It was rolled into his path very nicely from the free kick by. Batambuzi. Work by the goalkeeper, Funga, must be disappointed with himself there. He thought he had it well covered and that there was no one who was charging down on him. Shafiq Batambuze looking for Machiava. Could this be the equalizer? Offside flag is up. Oh, the flag had already gone up at uh, the time that he was chesting and hoping to pull the trigger from uh, Drywo Nyerenda. Oh, the Gundam feels that uh, maybe a card or something, some stiffer punishment I reckon should have come through to Aubrey Funga. Sadiki with the corner. At the near post, defended by Magenge. Second time now with Shafiq Batambuze. Again, they'll put their lives. Really, when you know that uh, the winning bonus is lined up, you put your lines online, your lives online. But now, Sadiki, you have to be very careful. In certain instances, until the fourth minute, we've played three already of the additional three. Sadiki brings in one, and it's a goal! I did say that we might just be in for some late drama here. Heartbreaking. There was a suggestion, and I didn't caught it. I might probably be a prophet of boom or not doom, because I did say the way... This uh, Lusaka Dynamo side was defending was charitable. A drop ball from the referee there and Sidney Pierce hey! shot. It ricochets off the foot of Aubrey. It's Paul Banda. Oh, Paul Banda with that own goal. Sad for Lusaka Dynamo's heartbreak at the very end. 